Sirach, Ecclesiasticus 24. Wisdom shall praise herself and shall glory in the midst of her people. In the assembly of El Elyon shall she open her mouth and triumph before his power. I came out of the mouth of El Elyon and covered the earth as a cloud. I dwelt in high places, and my throne is in a cloudy pillar. I alone compassed the circuit of heaven and walked in the bottom of the deep. In the waves of the sea and in all the earth and in every people and nation, I got a possession. With all these I sought rest, and in whose inheritance shall I abide? So the creator of all things gave me a commandment, and he that made me caused my tabernacle to rest, and said, Let your dwelling be in Yaakov, and your inheritance in Yashara'el. He created me from the beginning before the world, and I shall never fail. In the holy tabernacle I served before him, and so was I established in Sion. Likewise, in the beloved city he gave me rest, and in Yerushalayim was my power. And I took root in an honorable people, even in the portion of Yahuwah's inheritance. I was exalted like a cedar in Lebanon, and as a cypress tree upon the mountains of Cherman. I was exalted like a palm tree in Ain Gadi, and as a rose plant in Yariko, as a fair olive tree in a pleasant field, and grew up as a plain tree by the water. I gave a sweet smell like cinnamon and aspalathus, and I yielded a pleasant odor like the best myrrh, as galbanum and onyx and sweet storax, and as the fume of frankincense in the tabernacle. As the turpentine tree, I stretched out my branches, and my branches are the branches of honor and grace. As the vine brought I forth pleasant savor, and my flowers are the fruit of honor and riches. I am the mother of fair love, and fear, and knowledge, and holy hope. I therefore, being eternal, am given to all my children which are named of him. Come unto me, all ye that be desirous of me, and fill yourselves with my fruits, for my memorial is sweeter than honey, and my inheritance than the honeycomb. They that eat me shall yet be hungry, and they that drink me shall yet be thirsty. He that obeys me shall never be confounded, and they that work by me shall not do amiss. All these things are the sefer of the covenant of El Elyon, even the Torah, which Moshe commanded for a heritage unto the assemblies of Yaakov. Faint not to be strong in Yahuwah, that he may come confirm you. Cleave unto him, for Yahuwah Sevaoth is Elohim alone. And beside him there is no other Savior. He fills all things with his wisdom, as Pishon and Ki de Echel in the time of the new fruits. He makes the understanding to abound like Parath, and as the Ardan in the time of the harvest. He makes the doctrine of knowledge appear as the light, and as Gihon in the time of vintage. The first man knew her not perfectly, no more shall the last find her out. For her thoughts are more than the sea, and her counsels profounder than the great deep. I also came out as a brook from a river, and as a conduit into a garden. I said, I will water my best garden, and will water abundantly my garden bed. And lo, my brook became a river, and my river became a sea. I will yet make doctrine to shine as the morning, and will send forth her light afar off. 
I will yet pour out doctrine as prophecy, and leave it to all ages forever. Behold, that I have not labored for myself only, but for all them that seek wisdom. Wisdom.